Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Long time no see. Welcome to Deidre Goddess at YouTube. I am here this morning with an update on my progress. Progress. Okay, so today I weighed in at 205.2. Which is up three point something pounds. Actually, it's up two point, like one point, one and a half pounds, two points, two pounds since the last time. But I had actually gotten down to 201.4, I think it was. Yeah. And then yesterday I got on the scale and it said 202.6 or 8 or something. I was like, hmm, my cycle must be on the way. Because usually I have my cycle around the first of the month. And this morning I started my cycle. And I got on the scale like a big dummy. And it said 205.2. So I will not weigh myself again until I get off of my cycle. Even more disturbing <laughs> is I have been working my ass off. I have, if you go to my playlist... I have the Fitness Blender workouts. They have a thousand calorie exercise. It is usually like a five, six, seven minute warm up, a 32 to 36 minute HIIT workout. Then it is a 20, I think it's like 20 minutes worth of um, strength training. And then they have, after that, it's either 10 to 20 minutes of ab work and then a six-minute cool down for a total of about an hour and 25 minutes. That has been kicking my ass. But I'm so proud of myself because it's actually maybe just as hard, difficult, maybe as insanity, kind of sort of along the same lines. But I've been able to get through the workouts I am definitely, the day after, sore. I'm feeling a muscle up my hamstring and into my booty cheek that I never even knew existed. Didn't know it was there. It's not a hurt, but it's a, oh, you worked that out, and we're going to feel that. Um, excuse me, got to get my coffee in. <clears throat> so now, as far as my measurements go... Um, the last time I did my measurements was on the 28th, I mean on the 18th. I did them again to close out this month of, um, of February. And amazingly enough, everything is the same except for my calves. I lost like a quarter of an inch in my both of my calves. So my right arm is 14 inches, my left arm is 13 and a half. Right across my nipples. And you know, wait a minute, hold on, because that's weird. Because right across my nipples... I gained a half an inch. I don't know if maybe I was mismeasuring. That's why I hate doing that tape measure thing because it always seems to be off when I do it. But, okay, this is what I got. Under my breast was still 33. Across my belly button is 44 when before it was 41 and a half. That could be from swelling because my menstrual, don't know. My upper hips are 48. My lower hips are 47 and a half, which is still the same. My right thigh is 30. My left thigh is 30 and a half, which is still the same. Although, I think I look a little different. I don't know. Here we go again with these funny videos. And me and my wings. I'm so proud of my little, <laughs> my little wing thing. So, this is me. A little bit below the... Dunk -dunk, everything. It seems as if, I don't know. That's it. Um, I can tell in my arms. I'm starting to get some definition going. I've got a lot of hang down here, but up here, it's pretty solid. My arms, my shoulders have been getting it in. My chest. Oh, I did my, um, finished my push-up challenge. Every day, I did 40 solid push-ups. That's all that I could do comfortably and be able to go down and come back up. Although I do do my push-ups on my knees because I just can't take it on my toes. Um, but I did do my 40 push-ups every day. And I definitely feel, I don't know if push-ups, I think they work this muscle right here. But I definitely feel much stronger. Like when I lift stuff up, I can kind of like feel my shoulders kicking in and... Morning. 
whatever, whatever. So let me see, as far as my diet goes, um, I've been doing pretty good. I do my, um, I'm sticking to my 7, 6, 10, 1, 4, 7. Um, that's been going pretty good. Um, I've been eating pretty on point. Yesterday, I had a bit of a binge day. And the funny thing, it was a healthy binge. But I was feeling some kind of way yesterday. I have been having a lot of um, just issues. Um, I'm in a new place. I'm not really comfortable. Um, I have a boyfriend. But it's very rocky. It's very suspect. It's just very... Every day is, you know, a question mark. You don't know if it's going to be a good day or a bad day. And I I don't know if that's causing me the mental block that's keeping me from... I don't know. I really don't know because I feel like I'm really doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm eating, especially during the day when he's not here. I'm definitely on point with my eating. Um, in the evenings when he gets home... Um, he tends to, I'm not going to say want to sabotage it, but I almost feel, I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. I like to eat at 7, and he likes to, you know, kind of push it to 8 o'clock. And, you know, and then, like, he likes to eat right before he goes to bed. And I've already eaten. I'm done eating for the day. And he's like, babe, have a bite, have a bite, have a bite. And, you know, and I, I've gotten, I mean, at first, I mean, I was saying no. And he, please, 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 please. But now it's like no, and I mean no. And, I mean, I don't mean to be offensive to him, but... I'm not hungry, and I don't mean to be rude, but, and I keep thinking, was well, that one little bite going to sabotage you, but it could, I don't know, but I don't really want a bite, and I tend to sometimes take a bite just to make him be quiet and finish eating, um, so that's causing me that, that, that this, the, this whole situation is uh, causing me a lot of negative thinking, shall I say, when I'm trying to be very positive. I'm still going to sleep every night with my affirmations, and I've also um, just trying to get my head right, trying to get my head right, get my mind right, get some positive things going on with myself. Um, and my workouts, like I said, I've been kicking ass on workouts. So um, I've been eating right um, for the most part, 80, 90% of the time. Oh, so let me tell you about my binge. That's what I was going to tell you. So yesterday I woke up, I drank my smoothie. I did my workout. I had did the two um, two days in a row, the hour and a half thing. So yesterday, what I did was I did, did a walking workout. It was 45 minutes. Then I did a 16-minute yoga, and then I did another 16-minute stretching, also with Fitness Blender, just because I felt like my body was kind of sore and achy and needed to kind of stretch out. And the funniest thing is that when I finished that, I felt like I did a workout. I, I mean... I, I did stretch, but it wasn't like the relaxing stretch thing I thought it was going to be. It was, bitch, you just got to work out. You stretch out, but you got to work out too. So, um, what else? Um, oh, so my binge day. Oh, my God, I keep getting sidetracked. So, yesterday, I was just feeling some kind of way all day long. Me and my boyfriend been having a rough week. And I didn't know what to expect when he got home yesterday. So, it was kind of keeping me on my nerves. So I made this <laughs> what was supposed to be a snack. It was a one of the cup containers full of edamame, almonds, sunflower seeds, and Brazil nuts. And I was going to eat a couple of those just to kind of hold me out because I kept finding myself being hungry throughout the day yesterday, which is kind of usually not normal. I, don't usually, I get hungry right around my feeding times. That's what I call my feeding times. Um, but yesterday I kept getting hungry in between, so I was kind of snacking on those. Then when my boyfriend got home, I don't know if it was just because I was nervous or just what I was feeling, but I felt hungry again, and I had just eaten a sandwich not too long ago before that, and I went there and I popped a bag of popcorn, and I ate the whole bag of popcorn, the whole bag, it was delicious, and I ate it, and then I came back. And I wanted to start dinner so that we can eat by 7, but he wanted to play dominoes, which meant that we weren't going to eat dinner at 7 o'clock, even though I really wanted to, but he was, just, I don't know, just trying to keep the peace. I'm like, okay. 
So then I proceeded to keep snacking on the nuts. And before I knew it, half the thing was gone. And it was really just meant to be like, earlier in the day, have like a small handful. But then the whole half thing, oh, there wasn't a lot, but it was, I mean, I'm sure it was a lot of calories. But it was healthy fat, but it was a lot of calories, I'm sure. Then, um, I went, my boyfriend wanted to have chili cheese fries and chili cheese dogs. So I had one chili cheese dog and some chili cheese fries. But I didn't eat until like 8 o'clock. And then it sucked because as soon as I finished eating, I felt like I was sleepy. So I was trying to stay awake so I didn't go to sleep on a full stomach. And it didn't work. And by, I think, actually we stayed watching American Idol. So it was like maybe 10 o'clock when I finally went to bed. It was just, I don't know. So today I'm going to make today just a great day. Um, get my coffee. I decided to go ahead and do my update video for the month. Tell you guys, um, I've been wanting to talk to you guys a lot. I've just been watching a lot of videos. Like I said, I've been feeling some kind of way and haven't been wanting to put all my problems on YouTube and how yucky I've been feeling. But it is the end of the month, so I figured I'd do my end of the month weigh in. So, what's the new challenge of the month, girls and gentlemen? I don't have any male subscribers, I don't think. <laughs> um, actually, I'm, I've subscribed to a couple men, but I don't know if they subscribe back. I think I'm going to go with abs this month. I don't know what else everybody else is thinking, but I'm thinking that my midsection could use some fine tuning so that when I do get rid of um, some of this belly fat, I got me a 12 pack, 12 pack. I'm sorry, my ears itching. Um, okay, I'm, I think I'm about done. Um, as soon as I get off here, I know there's going to be something that I remember. I think, oh, I have a quick question. What do you guys think about no dairy? I've been arguing with myself because I've been noticing that I've been real mucusy. And I'm wondering if it's because I've been eating so much more yogurt. I've, I ate yogurt before, but not as much as I do now. And you know, another thing that I've noticed is that when you're fat and overweight, usually you spend your days trying not to eat. So you don't really think about food as much because you're always on a diet, so you're always not eating. But I noticed that as I'm getting healthy or trying to eat right, all I think about is eating. I mean, all day long, I mean, it is like really taking over my thoughts. Okay, well, how many calories did I eat? How much protein did I have? How many carbs did I have? Um, did I eat at the right time? Am I eating enough? Am I not eating too much when before... I just ate whenever, whenever it was time, whenever I felt like, okay, I'm starving, I'm hungry, I would eat. And usually with somebody that had no business eating, but I would eat. But now it seems like I can't, like all I think about is eating. And usually it's something healthy and I'm trying to think of ways to keep myself healthy, but I'm obsessed with thinking about eating. Before, um, didn't want to get up off the couch too much, was chilling. But now all I think about is exercising. Am I doing enough exercises? You guys should see me around the house. And it sucks because right now um, I'm an at-home stylist. So I'm at home all the time. So throughout the days I've got my weight belt on, my lap, my waist, my thigh things, my rock through, my weight, blah, 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 blah. my weight wrist, my ankle wrist. I'm walking around the house. I'm, you know, trying to do a little bit more walking here, a little bit more walking there. And I don't know what the hell is going on but the funniest thing is that my boyfriend's brother lives across the street and him and his girlfriend have both noticed that I've lost weight I have a couple clients that have noticed that I've lost weight but my boyfriend that I live with and see every day hasn't said a word hasn't said a word other than oh you got another pimple oh you got another pimple I've been breaking oh my god it's ridiculous um I don't know. And I had one that looked like it was trying to pop through right here. I threw some toothpaste on it. Oh, hell no. That's it. In my middle of my forehead? Come on now. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, on that note, um, so I'm going to get off of here now. I'm bored. Um, I'm going to get ready to go do my workout is what I am getting ready to go do. I think I'm going to hit one of those thousand calorie. Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. So, yeah, try those workouts, 
and tell me you guys what you guys think. Um, simply one quick hail. I think you can get you can get pretty physical. It would probably help you a lot too with your um, toning because you're not really in the stage where you're really trying to lose more weight, but you're trying to tone it up and get it together. It's a fun workout. It's cool. And it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, so it's not real long. And that's another thing that I like about it, because 20 seconds is not that long. And I can push something out for 20 seconds and then pause. So, on that note, I'm out of here. I love you guys. Be easy. Don't give up. Do not give up. Keep pushing. Subscribe. Like the videos. And leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.